glad the day. I am back with another tag video because I love answering all the questions. This one is actually called the Christmas tag, which is the opposite of the Christmas homemakers tag because it just doesn't have the word homemaker in it. Uh, but the questions are not all the same, which is a plus. And so I'm going to pull up the questions here on my phone and I will leave them in the description box that you can answer them. Christmas is coming and it's coming and it's coming fast and I enjoy doing everything Christmas related. So you may get another Christmas tag of some sort. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to skip the ones that I have already done in a previous tag because I did the Christmas Homemakers tag, which I will tag up here somewhere. And so you can listen to that. And then I'm just going to do the ones that I'm like on here. Okay. Have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes. I have definitely had a white Christmas because I live up north. New Jersey, New York, um, a lot of my childhood I spent in New York. I have definitely had a white Christmas and I love it. Uh, where do you usually spend your holiday? I usually spend my holiday at home in the house with my husband, which I love. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas song? Ah, now that is interesting. My favorite Christmas song is the Mistletoe Jam. I'm going to leave a link down below to this song called the Mistletoe Jam. When I tell you, how, I want everybody, this is, this is the goal, everybody click this song, Mistletoe Jam, because I'm quite sure it's somewhere here on YouTube. Listen to it, come back, and let me know what you think about it after you finish this video. What do you think of the Mistletoe Jam? I was one of the fault the song that me and my little sisters used to sing when we were younger and during the holidays because my parents used to play like this um like Christmas CD or whatever and it was one of the ones that we absolutely love to just mimic and stuff like that. So the mistletoe jam is my favorite Christmas song. Do you open any Christmas any presents on Christmas Eve? We do not. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Okay, Rudolph, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, I don't know, let me ask my husband, babe. Dixon, Blitzen. Dixon, Blitzen, who else? Maury. Maury? I think Maury. No, I don't think there's a reindeer right name, Maury. <laughs> okay, so we have about seven. I'm not sure, if, are there 12 reindeer? I don't know. I mean, we have seven, I can't name all of the reindeer. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Holiday tradition. Um, I look forward to the holiday, the holiday traditions with my husband. I love recording our Christmas morning video um, that we've been doing since we've been engaged to share with our children when we were uh, when we're older. Um, I love the tradition of reading from the Bible, the Christmas story, or you know, like the birth of Jesus. And I love just being home and just spending that time and enjoying our presents and enjoying our gifts and just the two of us. I just love it. Let's see. What is your all-time favorite holiday food slash sweet treat? I do not actually have a favorite holiday food, but my favorite holiday sweet treat, or I guess what you can call it, is eggnog. I love me some eggnog. So that's my favorite. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I actually like them equally. I do. I enjoy giving gifts because I love seeing the smile on people's faces and especially when you pick the perfect gift, when you've thought about it all year long, excuse me, and you know that they are going to absolutely love it, love that part of it. But I also love receiving the gifts too because I am a fan of well thought out gifts. I'm not a fan of a Visa gift card because you probably didn't really think about what the person might want. So I like the idea um, of gifts that people have really thought about you and what you would really like. So yes, that's my answer. Let's see. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Best Christmas gift? That's a good question. I don't know that I have a best Christmas gift. I don't have a best 
best Christmas gift. I usually love all of my Christmas gifts, um, but there's nothing that stands out to me as my absolute best Christmas gift. I mean, I know that I have memories in childhood of like being surprised by some of the things that my parents got me, you know, but I can't say as of right now that that is my best Christmas gift. Um, I think being pregnant for sure would be my best Christmas gift, although I won't know about it by Christmas. Um, but yeah, there's nothing that lives up to that. I don't, don't have one of those. Um, hmm. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Uh, the North Pole? <laughs> Although I know that probably sounds really crazy. I've always wanted to go to the North Pole or a North Pole-like place, you know, where it looks like the snow and the candy cane uh, light poles and merry people with smiles and lots of hot cocoa with eggnog and all sorts of things like that. That would be the perfect place if I was picking a place to go um, for the holiday season. Are you a pro present rapper or do you fail miserably? I am a pro present rapper for sure. I absolutely love wrapping Christmas gifts. I've always said that one of my um, jobs or gigs that I would have loved to do, even if it was for, you know, like one holiday season, I'd love to be the person in the retail store that wraps the gifts. I would definitely love to do that, like for sure. Like I, that would be my thing. Wrapping your Christmas gifts. Yeah, I enjoy that. Um, what made you realize the truth about Santa? Um, I don't think that I ever was taught about Santa, honestly. Uh, because we view Christmas as a religious holiday. And so there wasn't very much belief in Santa as a whole. And so as a child, I did not think that Santa was real, unfortunately. Sorry to all the people that believe that. Um, so there was never anything that made me realize that there was a truth about Santa. Like I've always known that it came from my parents or my aunt or something or somewhere. I mean, even though they write from Santa on the presents and all the rest of that other stuff, like I've always known that. Um, and I don't think that it ever took away from the whimsicalness of Christmas. Like, oh, if I don't feel like it's coming from Santa, then I might feel. No, I think it was, I think it was good and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so. I guess I never really had the opportunity to realize that there wasn't a Santa. I only really learned about Santa when I um, started going to school. And, yeah. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Uh, do you make New Year's? Okay. So, I make New Year's goals. Like, goals for the entire New Year. Like, things that I want to accomplish. Not so much resolutions. I know resolutions is like, oh, okay, well, this year... I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to do that kind of thing. I don't do that. I usually like make goals. Like, okay, this year I want to buy blah, blah, blah. If it's a big thing. Or this year I want to get this done. Or I want to remodel that. Or I want, like, that's what I usually do at the beginning of the year. Usually divide them up um, into just different categories and things like that. And for the most part, we've actually been pretty good about accomplishing our goals throughout the year and that's because we break them down and we usually go over them and all sorts of fun stuff which maybe I'll do a video on. What makes the holidays special for you? Uh, I think what makes the holidays special for me are the memories from being a child and um, just the uh, just the holiday spirit that my parents always kind of impart on me that I've always kept as an adult like I'm very happy about that because I know that sometimes during the holiday season people are very kind of bah humbug and they have their own kind of grinchy ways and you know when you become an adult a lot of times you don't have lots of fond memories of Christmas as an adult you usually remember lots of things um, from when you were a child so it's not the same um, but I'm happy that I've always been able to keep that same kind of spirit and that same kind of memory and um, I look forward to passing it on to some children one day. All right, ladies, that is the end of this tag. Be sure to do it and comment and all that stuff and go listen to the Mistletoe Jam. All right, I'll talk to you later.